We're out here on the Sea of Cortez biopsying whales because we're trying to understand ocean pollution, both how much, how polluted is it, and what are the impacts of the pollution. We're using whales as our model species because they, they are an important part of the ecosystem and they best represent humans in the environment. So we can learn about them and we can learn about us at the same time. This voyage is a follow-up to a study we did in 1999 and 2000 um, in the Sea of Cortez. So it's a chance to look at pollution levels and how they've changed over the past 16 or 17 years. Working with Sea Shepherd has proven to be quite the pleasure. The team, they are a very professional and experienced team, as well as sharing similar goals for the environment um, and hope for the future of the ocean. My name is Mark Martin Brass, and I'm from Vieques, Puerto Rico. I work with the WISE Labs, and I'm here to show you a little bit of what we do when we take samples of the whales that we're studying here in the Sea of Cortez with Sea Shepherd. Uh, this is one of the arrows uh, that we use to take a biopsy, and it is uh, a pretty safe procedure that's been done uh, a lot of times. We've been working on this uh, for a while, and it's a regular arrow. It is outfitted with a foam float, and uh, a steel tip there where we collect uh, the sample. Uh, this is not something to hurt the animal, it's just to collect a sample that we can process in the lab later and it helps us determine the conditions of the whales around the world. It also helps us study the toxicology uh, of these animals and in relation to humans. Uh, the tip is sterilized. Uh, it is uh, custom built for this type of thing. Uh, the arrows are uh, custom built to sample uh, cetaceans. We have special positions to maneuver around the whales, making sure not to hurt them, not to put them in a position that uh, could be a problem for them. Uh, we have a specific area in the whale where we can take a sample from. Another example of when some people say that they're researching whales and they have to kill them, it's just ludicrous. Uh, it, it's ridiculous to kill an animal to try to study it when they're in so endangered, magnificent creatures. And there are ways that are not too invasive where we can study their conditions uh, in a relatively uh, tame environment and get the information we need without hurting them. El mar de Cortés es un lugar importante para avistar mamíferos marinos, ya que se pueden encontrar aproximadamente 36 especies de ellos, de los cuales tres especies se consideran migratorias, como es la ballena azul, la ballena jorobada y la ballena gris. Asimismo, se encuentran en este lugar ballenas residentes, como el cerro cual tropical y la ballena de aleta. Esta operación de investigación ética ha sido muy interesante y ahora vamos a saber muchas cosas sobre las ballenas que están en el Golfo de California y sobre el estado de polución del Golfo de California. Esta, esta campaña, esta operación se llama ética porque las tomas que hacemos no lastiman a las ballenas, no necesitamos matar a animales para poder estudiarlos y los biólogos marinos que han estado trabajando con nosotros lo demostraron muy bien que nada más con una biopsia se puede estudiar mucho sobre la, la salud de las ballenas y de nuestros mares. <risa> 